Good morning. I am so blessed. I am so honored to be sharing the good news, the gospel of grace, and the love of our Savior, Jesus Christ, the Lord, the only Savior, the Savior of mankind, the Savior of the human race, the only way to the Father in heaven. What a blessing. Even speaking of these words is, is just such a wonderful thing, such a blessing. As a Christ follower, it is mandated that we let our light shine, that we tell others of our faith. Do not hide your faith. Do not shrink back and cover the light in which Jesus Christ gave you. Do not cover that light. We are supposed to stand on a hill proclaiming the gospel, letting our light shine, helping and loving others, and in turn, fully loving our Savior, Jesus Christ the Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach, fully loving Abba Father, Yahweh. I want to bring forth a, a message that I am, I am convinced that the Lord wants everyone to hear. I am extremely shocked that many churches, many within the body of Christ do not believe that hell exists. Hell is a literal and real place. Hell was created for the enemy and all of his minions as a form of punishment but because of sin entering into the world, because of the fall of man, we ourselves send ourselves to hell. We send ourselves to hell. Because of the choices we make, because of the things that we do in this life, by rejecting Jesus Christ, by living a life completely void of Him, you see, Scripture tells us that, that God, Abba Father, loved us so much that He gave His only Son. He, he sent Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ freely came, knowing everything that was going to happen. He came to make a way, because the only way that sin can be atoned, the only way that sin could be paid for, is by the shedding of blood. The only way to save all of mankind was the shedding of the blood of the one, the chosen one, the only one that can save. He had to, he had to face the cross. That's why it's so important that we believe in that, we trust in it. We believe what happened on that cross is real and true. We fully commit and believe that the precious blood that Jesus shed on that cross paid for our sins. And we must embrace that. We must believe that. We must understand there is no other way. Once we fully commit our life, once we fully trust and believe, once we ask Christ to be our Lord, our Savior, and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness, we are to walk away from sin. We are to walk away from our old selves. We are not to embrace philosophies, rules, regulations, or mandates of man. We are to follow Scripture wholeheartedly. The literal word of Abba Father in Heaven. The literal word of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. That's what we follow. We follow Him in Him alone. We do not mix the Scripture with any other person. We do not pray to anyone else. Please, I am making, I hope I make myself extremely clear. And many people just go on with what their churches tell them. Just go on living that nice and easy life, feeling good about themselves. You know, as a Christ follower, Christ tells us that we're going to suffer. But when we suffer for His sake, when we suffer with Him, that we also share in His glory, 
we share in his kingdom. Understand this. Scripture never told us that life is going to be easy. And again, as a matter of fact, it says for the Christ follower, it's going to actually be difficult. And again, I challenge you to read and study these things. I want to, again, reiterate, hell is a real place. And yet many within the body of Christ don't believe this. Heaven and hell. As sad as this is, but as glorious as this is as well, it is up to you where you want to go. It is a choice that you have got to make to fully commit your life to Jesus Christ, to understand the gift of grace that happened on that cross. The price that was paid by our Savior. You know, many will reject Him. Many will will fall away. Many who were once enlightened with Jesus Christ will, will let their light go out. Many will surrender their crown to the enemy, a crown in which Jesus gave you, a crown in which you were supposed to present to him. When you reject Jesus Christ, when you do not trust and believe in him, when you choose not to follow him, when you choose not to have him as your Lord and Savior. The only alternative when you pass from this earth is hell. Hell is a real and literal place. Please understand this. It is the most terrible place in existence. First off, void of the Holy Spirit, void of the Father, void of Jesus Christ, completely separated from them. There is no hope in hell. No hope in hell. It is where the fire never ends. The pain and the torture and the torment never ends. It never ends. You think that 70, 80, 90 years on earth is a long time? That is nothing compared to eternity. Understand this. The choices we make here on earth affect us in eternity. And yet many will still reject. Why would you reject such a precious gift of not only first freeing you from hell? Because it does say that Jesus did say that he has the keys of hell and death. Of death and Hades. He frees you for life. By simply trusting and believing in him and living for him. When we commit our lives to Jesus Christ, we are to let our light shine. We are to share the message with others, with those around us. We are to tell about the good news of our Savior, about the precious gifts that He, that he gave us. To share, to help those in need. To aid the orphan and the widow. To help that man on the street corner. To show love to those who are unlovely. To visit those in prison. We are to let the love of Jesus Christ shine through us. And yet, many Christ followers are still entangled in the world's affairs. Completely committed to the world. And only partially committed to Jesus Christ. Even if I could even say that. A relationship with Jesus Christ is a full commitment. You do not want to be here for what is coming. For those who are completely seeking Jesus Christ, for those who are completely in love with Him, for those Christ followers who are truly Christ followers, we are waiting for our blessed hope in the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ. It tells us in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, we will be changed. It tells us when the trumpet sounds, that the dead will rise first, and the we who are alive and are left will be caught up, will be taken up into heaven, will be taken up into the air, 
with our Savior Jesus Christ. That's what we get for those who are committed to him, those who are seeking him. For those who are left behind when this event happens that Christians call the rapture, which is in fact 100% in the Bible, let's just drop that argument. It's, it's in the Bible. It's a term that Christ followers utilize to talk about an event that will soon take place. And many fight this. Many reject this. Many within the body of Christ reject this. Heaven and hell are real. If you accept Jesus full heartedly today, call out to him, surrender your sins to him, turn from your wicked ways. Do not embrace your old life, turn from your old life. If you're living in a lifestyle, that is not biblical. Turn from that lifestyle. You may stumble and fall, but get right back up and run after Jesus Christ. You cannot continue in sin and calling it right or calling it okay or calling it or call it good. We all make mistakes. We all stumble. We all we all fall short of His glory. That's why He had to came. That's why He had to come. When he died for us, he made a way for us. Once we become Christ followers, we walk away and leave our old life behind. I hope that's clear. Many just want to still live their old life in calling themselves a Christ follower. You cannot have two masters. The scripture tells us you cannot have two masters. So please, today. Surrender your life to Jesus Christ before it's too late. Once the rapture happens, I believe wholeheartedly that the tribulation will start. And many just think, oh, I'll wait for the tribulation to give my life to Christ. Don't wait. The cataclysmic events, the bold judgments, and the demonic activities that will be released upon the earth. How, look how hard it is to live a, a, a life here with the Holy Spirit. Just think of a life void of the Holy Spirit. Do not wait. If you die outside of Jesus Christ, you're going to hell, and that's just the truth. And I, I'm telling you this to stir something, something in you, to at the minimum, at the minimum, seek out Jesus Christ, study Scripture, look into these things. Yeah, I'm trying to scare you because it's a scary thing. You don't think this is scary? You don't think what's going to happen upon the earth isn't scary? The entire earth is going to be destroyed. And yet we play these things. Our eternity hinges on if we choose Christ or we don't. For those who choose Christ, who think that they're just good people and they're going to go to heaven, that's not true. Once we become a Christ follower, of course we're supposed to let our light shine. And because of that faith we have in Christ, that's showing love to others, helping others. Utilizing our resources and the time that we have to help and, and, and show the way. That is a sign of a true Christ follower. Not saying a prayer one time and going back into the world and living in the world system. Listen, like I mentioned before, heaven and hell are real places and it's actually your choice. You choose where you go. Abba Father has made every provision for you. Jesus Christ has made every provision for you to escape hell, to escape death forever. And to also for those who before the tribulation, because you can get saved during the tribulation, I recommend you get saved now. You can get saved during the tribulation. Those are the tribulation saints. But I'm saying, do it now. Do it today. Heaven and hell are really our real places. It is your choice where you want to go. Choose heaven. Choose Jesus Christ wholeheartedly. I hope this message makes sense. I love you all. Hear these words. Send this to your friends. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Have a blessed day, guys. Bye-bye.